So today we're going to be going over A-B testing. I've got a two-part series coming up that's going to show you first how to set up A-B testing inside Shopify so that you can serve up two different types of content and you can test your users' behaviors. And then the second part is how you actually set up those traffics using Google Analytics to split the traffic. We're going to go through the whole thing. It's a little bit of a longer video because we got to go do some definite coding first. And then once we finish that, then tomorrow's video we're going to go through and we're going to show you how to do it in the Google Analytics so that you can split your traffic that comes to your site. So let's just jump into it. All right, in order to do proper A-B testing, you're going to need two versions of a page. Now, it's important to understand that you don't want A-B test two completely different pages. You want to be A-B testing small different elements. So the two things that you're going to need to set up to do a proper A-B test is one, you're going to need two versions of the page that you're going to be testing, and then you'll need a software to do the, the automated swap out. We're going to use Google Analytics in this video in order how to do it. So first, let me show you how to go and create two different versions of the same page page inside Shopify. So if we go into the dashboard and we go to online store and then you go to themes, you want to go to your active theme. Now you need to make these changes in the active theme because in development themes, additional page templates won't populate the menu. They need to be in the, uh, the menu. I'll another video that shows you how to get around this but for the most part let's just work in the active theme because we're working on a demo store anyways so we're gonna go in and edit the code now the first thing we want to do is we want to go and have a look at the templates folder now each individual Shopify store or Shopify theme rather is going to have different setups for the templates um, they're gonna be different structures it's going to be based on what the developer wanted to do now all of the themes that come from Shopify are following a certain standard. Um, they're close, they're not all identical because they each, in, each contain different features. So but for the most part, you should be able to find what you're looking for uh, because I used a Shopify branded theme. I'm actually using the pipeline theme. So if you want the exact code, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. So uh, if you go into theme or into templates rather um, and come down, you want to look for product.liquid. Now we're not going to touch the product.liquid file. We're actually going to create a new, two new uh, versions so that we can see them working um, and we don't mess up the original code. So I've already created an option B, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create an option A. So we're going to go add new template. We're going to go to product and we're going to call this one option A. And we're going to create that template. Now because both product and option A are pulling in the same section, right now we are not seeing, we won't see any different code. What we're going to do is now we need to go and duplicate out the section. So let's go to sections and let's go to this product uh, section that's being included um, and we're going to add a new section actually. We're going to uh, add a new section and we're going to call this option A. And we're going to add a new section, and we're going to call this one option B. Actually, we're going to, sorry, we're going to rename these two, product option B, just so that we know what they are when we come back. And we're going to come back over here, and we can actually rename this one. Sorry, let's, let's delete this section and add a new one in here. <clears throat> so we're going to, oops, I want to be under sections, add new section. All right, so we have product option A and product option B. A little bit of movie magic there to make sure that they're both case in it, both uh, the correct case. They should be exactly the same because um, there's no rename for um, sections inside Shopify. So uh, once we've done that, we need to copy over the code from the original section. So we go to product liquid and we want to take all of this code and we want to paste this into product option A and we want to paste this into product option B. So now we have two sections that are changed. Now that's not the only thing we need to do. We need to do the same thing for snippets. So snippets are small pieces of code that populate out a specific, um, a, a, a specific part of a template. So it allows you to better organize. Now we have one in here called product liquid. This is what we're going to have to now duplicate. So let's go and add a new snippet in here. 
and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to call it product option A, and we're going to add another shadow snippet called product option B. All right, we've got A and B. Now what we need to do is we need to copy the code over from the product liquid. So we're going to go back to product liquid, copy this code. Let's close a couple of these things so we can see what's going on here. Product option A, we're going to put it in there, save that. Product option B, save that. So now we've gone and duplicated out all of our files. Great. Now we need to actually point the new templates to those new files that we uh, that we created. So the first thing I want to do is let's go back up to the beginning of the templates and let's go to product option A. So we can see product option A is now including the section product. We actually wanted to include the new section which is product option A because that's what we wanted to match product option A and we can save that one. Now we want to go to product, product option B and do the same thing. Now this is where it's very important that the case is the same um, so that you're, you're not getting any errors from case sensitivity. So we've done those two, but we're not finished yet. We're, we're still pulling the original sections inside both product option A and product option B. So let's go to the, um, the, the, the sections and let's update them here as well. So we got to update those snippets. So product option A. and product option B. All right, now we've gone and created, now we can have a look in here and see if there's any includes inside this page. So if we go include, uh, no, that's just a customer name. It's including the breadcrumbs, but we're not gonna do any AB testing on the breadcrumbs, so those can stay the same way. Uh, to include a customer ID, that's a, that's a variable. Product related items, again, we're not doing any A-B testing on those ones, and on the membership callback, we're not doing any A-B testing there. Now, if we were, we would have to duplicate those ones out as well and create um, different versions of them as well. So, uh, how do we test this to make sure this is working? So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to that product that we're going to be testing, which is the, uh, the Kelly Style Quilted Caviar and we're going to pull that out and we're going to set this one to have a product template of product option A. Now if you haven't done these templates in the live theme this won't show up. This will only have the two templates that you have in there. So um, make sure that you're doing this in the live theme. So now we can save this. So that one is now saved. Um, now let's go back over and create and grab another product so we're going to grab another product that's going to have the other version. So let's go with, we need one that's in stock here. Uh, let's do this 12 inch leather sh shoulder bag here. Um, and we're going to change this to product option B. Okay. So now that we've got both of those set up, we have this one here and this one here. Now we need to be able to tell the difference between the two. So we want to pull them both up make sure that they both pull up and that we haven't made any mistakes and there's no errors on the page. So we can go down, there's no errors on the page. Now we're going to set up our tests so that we can see that we have two different versions running. So what we want to do is we want to go back into online store and we're going to go to edit code and we're going to go and we're going to change option B. And so on option B, if we scroll down to the price, uh, we have all commented out the price in the uh, sold button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those comments from option A because that's the that's the template that we're working in. We're going to save that. So now when we refresh template A, I think this one says template A. Sorry. We can see the price now shows up in the add to cart and if we refresh template B it shows up without not in 
the card. So now we have two versions. So now when we serve up these different versions, we can see whether the price adds or changes the, uh, the, the, the behavior of the people coming to the site. All right, now that we've got everything set up, now we can actually do a little bit of a trick inside Shopify in order to see both templates without reassigning a template. The reason I went in and assigned a template um, to each individual page was just so that I could figure out whether or not um, it was working or not and everything was up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch all my products back to a regular product template so that we don't disturb any of the current traffic that's going through the site. Um, and I'm gonna do that for both uh, the templates. All right, we're going to change this back over to product. So now I'm going to show you how to serve up two different um, templates on Shopify without actually reassigning any of them. Now that they've been created, what we can do is we can go into the uh, Shopify URL. And we can use what's called, called the view parameter. So if we go to the end of the um, URL string and we add a question mark, which allows you to serve up a variable. We can now type in view and equals, and then we can put in the template name that we created. So we have two templates. We have option A, so we hit option A, which is the same one here, and then we have also option B. If we hit option B, we can see add to cart now flips out. Super powerful, super great way for you to be able to serve up different pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Google Analytics and I'm going to show you how to set up an A-B testing using those two URL strings. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button if that's something that you're into. And we'll see you for part two tomorrow.